All right. Buckle up, everybody. We're diving into some seriously cool uh, found text today. Oh, I love these. Yeah. This one, you actually sent this in. That's weird. Some Japanese excerpts. Looks like it's straight out of like a sci-fi story oh, or yeah. a game, maybe. Could be. We got the original Japanese and a translation, which is awesome. Always got to have both. But you know how things can get lost in translation. So Absolutely. We're going to be looking at both. It's amazing, isn't it, how a story from a totally different language culture can yeah. give you a whole new way of seeing oh, things absolutely. it's like no. it's like looking through a different window yeah a whole new lens into another world exactly and just skimming through these looks like we're in for a wild ride folks oh yeah war in 2101 these mysterious villains called cats interesting what feels like a desperate last stand i'm intrigued so let's decode this story figure out the cultural context, and just see what makes this snippet so captivating. Let's do it. You ready to jump in? Absolutely. Okay, so right off the bat, the text throws us right into the action. Okay. 2101, war has begun. Wow. No build up, <laughs> no nothing. Just straight into the chaos. Just like that. Makes you wonder, right? Yeah. What happened before this? What led to this point? What's the backstory? Yeah, you know, there's a real sense of urgency right. in those opening lines. Absolutely. Especially in the original Japanese Tatakai wa Hajimata. Mm. It's not just that war started, it's more like it was always going to happen, like ah, mm. a long time ago. Oh, that simmering conflict finally boiling over. Exactly. It really sets the tone. It does. And then bam, we're thrown into this frantic dialogue. Yeah. Panic captain trying to figure out what's going on. Engineer confirms sabotage. Oh, no. This line, I love it. Somebody set up with the bomb. Classic. The translation's a little off. but It gets the point across. You get the picture. You definitely get the picture. The what happens next? Bam. Uh, Here we go. Enter the villains, the cats themselves. Oh, cats. And they make their grand entrance with a line that's, I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. It's internet legend. Yeah. All your base are belong to us. Iconic. How iconic is that? That's so good. Right. You know, it's amazing how something can like totally. transcend its original context, become a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, like yeah. that phrase came from a 1989 video game called Zero Wing. Right. And it was uh, notorious for its pretty terrible English translation. Oh, yeah. But somehow that one line just took off, spread from the gaming community, and became mm. this meme, a catchphrase, inspired artwork, music. You see it everywhere. It's everywhere. It's wild how language, even when it's like completely mistranslated, yeah. can have such a lasting impact. It's true. Right. It is. But going back to the story. It's so back. That line, all your base belong to us, even in the original Japanese. It's just it's powerful. It has this power, this this Dominate. domination. Yeah. yeah, they're in control. We're in control, and they want you to know it. Oh yeah, the mm -hmm. cats—they're not messing around. You can really sense their uh, arrogance. Wow, their wow. confidence in their plan. It's like they know. They know it's gonna work. Yeah, they're like, we got this. Exactly, and they follow that iconic line with, uh, you know. Hit them while they're down. You are on the way to destruction. Like, right. no question. No ambiguity there. None at all. You're just laying it out. Laying it out. Exactly what they believe is about to As happen. That's it will soon be the end for your ship, too. It's so, so chilling. It is. You can practically feel like... The hero's hope just dwindling. Dwindling, yeah. Like, oh, no. What are we going to do? Right. Yeah. And then to really drive home the point... Oh, yeah. They leave the heroes with this final message... Just brutal. Uh -huh. Treasure what little remains of your lives. Oh. Even in translation. Yeah. That line is just, it's bone chilling. Classic. It's Psychological warfare. Yeah. It's designed to just completely demoralize. Break them down. The enemy. Strip them. A big way they're... Of their fighting spirit. Their will to fight. But even in the face of this right. seemingly impossible threat. They're not giving up. Our heroes. They're not giving up. No. We see the captain rallying his troops Given the order to launch. Oh, here we go. The Zig Fighters. The Zig Fighters. Now. This is interesting. This is where things get really interesting. What do we think? What kind of fighters are we talking about? I don't know. The text doesn't give us a ton of details, which. Kind of like that. Yeah. It adds to the mystique. It does. But the name itself, Zig, it's just. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool. It's sharp. It's like. Uh, Almost aggressive, like yeah. suggests speed, agility, maybe even a little bit of rebellion. Oh, I like that. A little bit of rebellion. Yeah. It feels like they represent something new, right? Yeah, like a new breed. A new kind of fighter. Something unconventional. Unconventional. Maybe even maybe even a little 
desperate times, desperate times. times. Call for desperate measures. Yeah, it fits with the whole underdog narrative, right? Totally. They're not the the typical the typical expected heroes. Yeah. There's something different, something unexpected, which which could give them an edge against the cats, right? Be their secret weapon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now that captain's final line. Oh yeah. Before we're left on that cliffhanger. The cliffhanger. It's really interesting, especially because we have two different translations. Right, right. We talked about that. One version says for great justice, well, that's while it. the other says restore hope to our future. Ooh, that's. Cute. It highlights, you know, the the complexities of translation. Yeah. How these subtle you are. differences in word choice can change the whole feel of the message. Right. Like for great justice has that, that classic, that classic almost super heroic. Super heroic vibe. Wow. Restore hope to our future feels more grounded. Grounded, more connected to what's happening right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The immediate threat. Like they're not just fighting for some abstract idea. Right. They're fighting for their lives. Their future. Yeah, the future of humanity. Exactly. For, but both translations <laughs> yeah. really capture the weight. The responsibility. The weight of the responsibility. Their shoulders. On these Zig fighter's shoulders, right? Yeah, it's not just a battle. It's everything. It's everything. They're fighting for survival. The survival of their entire species. And with that... We're left hanging. We are left hanging. Yes, but to know. I need to know. What happens? What happens next? Do they pull it off? Ah, the suspense. It's been killing me. It's killing me. But before we get there... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's dig a little deeper into yeah. the cultural context. Let's go deeper. Of this found text. What makes it so compelling beyond just the... The, the thrilling storyline. The thrilling storyline. Yeah. Stay tuned, folks. We're just getting started. It's just getting warmed up. Buckle up. Welcome back, folks. All right. So we've got this, this snippet of a story, right? Like this glimpse into a war-torn future. Yeah, humanity's on the brink. Yeah, they're facing down these these enigmatic cats. Mysterious cats. But it's really interesting how this short excerpt. Yeah, it's short, but it's powerful. Even without a lot of context. Yeah. Manages to like tap into these these universal themes. Universal themes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really quite remarkable. Like what? Give me an example. Well, one of the big ones is this idea of Pope oh. in the face of overwhelming odds. Oh, yeah, I see that. I mean, think about it. Humanity is on the brink of destruction. Their bases are captured. Their fleets crippled. Yeah. But there's still this shark of defiance. This refusal to give up. That's right. It's it's embodied in that order to launch the Zieg fighters. The the desperate hope that they can somehow turn the tide. Right. It's that classic underdog story. Exactly. And everything seems lost. Yeah. And then this small group emerges. Yeah, carrying the weight of the world. Carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. On their shoulders. Yeah, it's a story that resonates really across cultures, time periods. It's it's, it's a classic. A classic. Yeah. And, you know, that brings us to another Falcon. fascinating aspect of this. Right. How language shapes our perception of these themes. We mm -hmm. talked about that. I Your base are belong to us right. line and how it became this cultural touchstone. The meme. But even subtle differences yeah. in translation yeah, yeah. can impact oh, wow. how we connect emotionally with the story. Yeah, you're talking about the captain's final line, right? That's right. For great justice <laughs> versus... Person. Restore hope to our future. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Both translations. Uh huh. Convey a sense of purpose. Yeah. Of fighting for something bigger than themselves. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they but do it in different ways. For great justice. Yeah. Has this. It's more abstract. Abstract, idealistic feel to it. Yeah. While. Uh, restore hope. Is... Restore hope to our future. Yeah. Feels more. Yeah. Grounded. More connected to. <laughs> The situation. The character's immediate circumstances. So, yeah, their situation. It's a matter of survival. It really is. Yeah. 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 It's like for great justice uh -huh. speaks to this universal. Moral imperative. Moral imperative. Right. While restore hope to our future. Oh. It's emphasizing the very personal stakes. That's right. For these characters. Yeah. For humanity itself. The stakes are high. They're <laughs> super high. And that's what makes <laughs> analyzing translated works so fascinating. I know, I love it. It's like it's like a puzzle. It forces us to acknowledge that meaning mm -hmm. isn't always fixed, you know. 
Oh, interesting. Or abs- it can shift and change yeah. depending on the language, the yeah. cultural context. Totally. Even the individual translator's interpretation. So it's not just about understanding the words. Yeah. It's about like the layers. The layers. The layers of meaning. Of meaning. And the cultural baggage they Our cultural baggage. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, that's deep. And that's especially true okay. with Japanese, you huh. know? Oh, yeah. We it's did. known for its want that. nuanced expressions yeah. and subtle implications. The very subtle language. It is. Yeah. Could you give us an example? Sure, sure. Like, how do these nuances play out in our found text here? Well, let's take that opening line. War has begun. Okay, yeah. In Japanese, the verb hajimata. Ooh, hajimata. It doesn't just mean began in a factual sense. Okay. It also carries a sense of inevitability. Oh, interesting. Of something well, that's been he, building heck, and finally just... reaching its breaking point. It was going to happen no matter what. Exactly. Wow. It's just one word. Wow, that's powerful. But it sets a very specific tone. Yeah. One that, you know, might not come across. It might not fully translate into English. Wow. So it's like you're saying yeah. even a simple sentence yeah. can have like multiple layers of meaning multiple layers. embedded within it. Exactly. It's it's like an onion. It's like an onion. You got to peel and back. You got to peel back the layers. The layers to get to the, the true meaning. The core. And it's in those subtle nuances, in the gaps between languages yeah. that we often find <laughs> the, good the most intriguing insights. Okay, so we've talked about the themes, the language, the cultural context. We've covered a lot of ground. But there's still one big question looming. That's right. Who are these cats? Who are they? What do they want? What's their motivation? And why are they speaking in internet memes? Yeah, what's with that? Right. It's a good question. It's a great question. Unfortunately, yeah. with such a limited excerpt, yeah. we can only speculate. speculate. Okay. But there are a, f- a few clues we can piece together. Okay, let's do it. First, their name, cat. Cats, yeah. It could be an acronym. Oh, right. A code name or even just a symbolic representation of their nature. Right. Like cats are often seen as... um, Independent. Independent, cunning. Cunning. And sometimes a little mischievous. A little mischievous. Yeah. I think that could be a clue. I don't know. Could it? To their personalities. No, maybe. They've orchestrated this. Yeah, they have. Masterful surprise attack. Yeah. Infiltrating the human forces. Crippling their defenses. Figure out what they do. They're good. It suggests a high level of intelligence, strategic thinking, strategic thinking. Yeah, we've got a plan. They got a plan and they seem to really relish in their power. Yeah, right? there's a certain uh, taunting the heroes with their pronouncements of doom and destruction. Flair to it. Is this... There's yeah, there's almost like a, a theatrical flair. It is theatrical. Yeah, it's almost like they're playing a role, playing a role, performing, performing for an audience, for an audience. Yeah, which. Brings us back to At line. all your base are belong to us. That's right. Do you think they're using that phrase deliberately? Could be. Because they know it'll resonate with the humans. It's possible. Or maybe it's a way of asserting their dominance. Asserting their dominance, yeah. It's showing they understand. And control even the human culture. Yeah, like they're in our heads. They're in our heads. It's uh, okay. You're in on the joke. It could be a form of psychological warfare. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Using a familiar phrase yeah. to create a sense of... Unease. Unease. Yeah. yeah. Of being caught off guard. Like, wait a minute. I know that. Exactly. exactly. It's like they're... It's a fourth wall. Breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. Acknowledging the audience. It's very meta. It's very meta. And it adds another layer of creepiness. It does. To their whole persona. It's a brilliant move, really. Yeah. They're taking this piece of internet humor yeah, yeah, and yeah. twisting it into something into unsettling, yeah. something that underscores their power and control. So we've got these these cunning theatrical villains. That's right. Who seem to be like... Playing a game. Playing a game with humanity. What's their end game? But what's the end game? What are they really after? That's the million dollar question. It is. It We know they've captured the humans' bases. Right. But is that it? Is that their ultimate goal? Uh-huh. Or is it is there something, something else? Something more. Yeah. Are they seeking resources, territory? Power. Power. Maybe even Maybe just the satisfaction. Just the satisfaction of crushing their enemies. Crushing their enemies. Yeah. You know? I mean, maybe they're after something even more abstract. Could be. 
like control over information information or even like the very fabric of reality the very fabric of reality whoa that's right yeah 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 science fiction often explores those boundaries it does it does pushing the limits of our imagination and with villains as enigmatic as the cats the cats i mean how possibilities the possibilities are endless how endless this is what i love about a good sci-fi mystery it's the best. It sparks our imagination. It makes us think. Makes us ask big questions. Grapple with. Grapple with complex ideas. Complex ideas. Even though we only have this, like this little piece. This small piece of the puzzle. Of the puzzle. It's yeah. enough to get our minds racing. Get our minds racing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like looking up at the night sky. That's a good analogy. And realizing the vastness of the universe. The vastness. All the possibilities out there. All the possibilities. And with that thought in mind, okay. I think it's time to shift our focus All right. to the heroes of this story. The heroes. The Zig Fighters. The Zig Fighters. Yes. Let's delve into who they are. What makes them special. What makes them special. And if they truly have what it takes. Do they have the right stuff? To face down the cats and save humanity. That's the question. Okay, so the heroes of our story, right? The Zig Fighters. Yeah, it's interesting how how little we actually know about them. They just kind of emerge emerge from the text. It's as this last glimmer of hope. Yeah, this last ditch effort, desperate attempt to salvage like a truly dire situation. Yeah, humanity's last hope. Well, what kind of fighters are they? I mean, are we talking like elite pilots? Right. In advanced spacecraft, mm -hmm. super soldiers with crazy abilities, or oh, something no. completely different? Yeah, the text keeps us guessing, which. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like it, too. It, it adds to the mystery. It does. Their very name, Zig. It's yeah. intriguing, isn't it? It, it? It's like sharp, angular, it is a, almost suggestive of like a, a... Sudden movement. Sudden movement, yeah. Decisive. Decisive. Like they could represent like a new breed of fighter, right? Yeah, like a, a radical departure Yeah, rad from conventional the, warfare. Oh, I like that. Something new. Something new, something different. Something different. And that plays into the whole underdog narrative, right? Absolutely. Like they're not... The expected heroes. The expected heroes. Yeah, There's they're something else. Something else. Something. And that could be their advantage. Maybe that's their secret weapon. Against the cats. You know, it could be. It's like, oh, we didn't see that coming. Exactly. And it brings us back to the captain's final order. Yeah, the captain's final order with those like the different translations, different translations, the great justice for great justice versus restore hope to our future. Yeah. I mean, regardless of which translation we, we oh, pref prefer, the message is clear. It's the Zig fighters. They're carrying a heavy burden. They are. They represent humanity's last chance. Last chance for survival. It really makes you wonder, like, what qualities do these Zig fighters have right. that make them, you know... Worthy of this task. Worthy of this... The this task. Momentous yeah. task. Is it just sheer skill? Is it is it technology? Advanced technology. Unwavering courage. Or is it something, something more? Something more. Something intangible. Like a belief. A deep-seated belief in a better future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It raises a really interesting question. It does. For us as as readers, as listeners. Sure, our listeners out there. What makes a hero? What makes a hero? Is it brute strength? Uh, tactical brilliance? Unwavering moral conviction. Yeah. Or is it something something even deeper? Deeper, yeah. Something, something at the core of the human spirit. Like? The will to fight. Yeah, the will to fight. For what you believe in. When all hope seems lost. Even when all hope seems lost. Man, that's powerful. That's what this story is really about, isn't it? It is. It's about more than it's just... Spaceships and battles. Yes, yeah, spaceships and battles. It's about the... The human spirit. The human spirit, the capacity for hope and resilience, even when things are... When things are really dark. Really, really dark. And that's a universal theme. It is. You know? Yeah. It transcends cultural boundaries. It speaks to... All of us. All of us. Yeah. Regardless of our background, our language. It's a reminder that even when we're facing like. Overwhelming odds. Overwhelming odds, impossible odds. There's always that potential. For courage. For courage, for resistance. For the fight. The fight for a better tomorrow. A better tomorrow. So as we as we kind of wrap up our deep dives here. Yeah. Into this. Fascinating. Fascinating piece of found text. So many questions. We're left with, I mean, more questions than answers, right? Right. Who are the sets? What's their motivation? Will the Zig Fighters succeed? Will the Zig Fighters succeed? I mean, we may never know the full story. 
But that's part of the beauty of it, isn't it? It is. It's like it invites us to fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Imagine our own versions. Our own versions of the events. Contemplate, like the nature of heroism. The nature of heroism. The power of hope in a world. In a world that's like teetering on the brink. Teetering on the brink. And on that note. That's a good note to end on. I think we've reached the end of our deep dive. Another deep dive complete. It's been a wild ride. It has been. Full of intrigue. Mystery. Mystery. Thought provoking. Thought provoking questions. Thought provoking questions. But that's what we love about exploring these uncharted territories. Uncharted territories of storytelling. It reminds us that even in the smallest fragments. I mean, in the smallest fragments. Most unexpected places. The most unexpected places. We can find stories. We can find stories that spark our imaginations. Challenge our perspectives. Challenge our perspectives. Leave us pondering. And leave us pondering the big questions long after the story's over. Long after the story ends. So, to our listener, we leave you with this final thought. What gives you hope? What makes a hero in your eyes? And what gives you hope? And what gives you hope, even when the world seems, like, determined to just, like... Excumbrish it. Extinguish it, yeah. Keep those questions in mind. Keep those questions in mind. And until next time. Happy deep diving. Happy deep diving, everybody.